What is up everybody? It is Wick here. I'm going to be reviewing the Neewer Photo Box Lite. I think that's how you pronounce it. Neewer. N-E-E-W-E-R. Maybe Newer. Neewer. I don't know. Um, either way, this was sent to me by them. They asked me to review it and look it over. So I said, sure, I'll look it over. Um, see how it is, how it compares to the Amazon one. That's the one I'm using right now. So here it is. This is a bit smaller than the Amazon one I use but it is half the price and uh, it has a lot more um, options going for it that I'll go over. Uh, so there's the name. I believe that's newer. <laughs> so I'm gonna get this open. I'm gonna set it up and uh, all the specs and all that information I'll put on the screen because I don't remember everything exactly. So just look there if you're looking for the information about it. Let's get this set up. So here it is set up. It was pretty straightforward and easy to set up actually. Um, I would say it's on the level of the Amazon photo booth. Uh, the other photo booth I've reviewed is the Samtian and it was definitely easier to set up than that one. And uh, you can see, well I don't know if you can see, but this is really bright. This is definitely the brightest uh, photo box. I can tell just by looking at it because I've looked at the other ones so much that this actually is, is brighter just by, I could just tell you might not be able to tell on camera maybe it has something to do with the reflectors uh, the other ones had just white and uh, this one is 20 20 inches by 20 so you can see here um, it's pretty pretty big actually um, now the Amazon one is larger uh, but not by a whole lot but what I've found with using these photo boxes is if an item's already large and it's not going to fit it's, it's just not going to fit right the majority of items are going to work in a 20 by 20 box uh, so you can fold this up here kind of ah there we go that was pretty velcro-y and you can see you can take pictures from inside like this and uh it's probably going to reflect a bit better i usually just leave mine open when i take photos but it's going to be based on the person's style more than anything. I uh, see here I got my succulent plant in here and uh, I can't even see on the camera the screen if I'm getting this on there good because this is so bright. Uh, but it looks really good. I can really see the detail. And we're going to take some photos here in a few minutes and we'll go over them, the quality, and kind of compare. And I'll give my final thoughts on it. But what I can say is, uh, when I, once I got a photo booth and started using it, um, it really changed everything. I was using the umbrella lights, and that took up so much space. And this, I can just unfold, put it on my table, and just get the listing. When I'm done, I don't have to leave it up. Umbrella lights, if you're taking all those down and putting them back up, it takes forever. It's very cumbersome. Uh, I can carry this upstairs. I can carry it downstairs. So these portable ones, it's got a little handle up here. You see, you can take a picture, pretty standard. Uh, but what it has that Amazon doesn't are a couple things. One, a switch. Amazon doesn't have a switch where you can turn it off. You have to pull the plug out. Um, it's kind of weird and random. So if you are leaving this up, uh, it's just kind of, kind of odd they didn't go for that option. And then I gotta go over here because the cord's not quite reaching. You can see on here they have a dimmer so you can see if I can get this on here you can see I can dim dim it down quite a bit so that's a great option for anything that has a glare or maybe it's a white product you don't want it to reflect that much so a dimmer is nice that's something that Amazon doesn't have and then it came with backgrounds and these have velcro so you can look here, there's different colors here. There's like a light gray, a black, and like a, a tan. So of course the white one too. And they have pieces of Velcro, they just attach, they just go under this slot right here. And I remember the Sam Tian one I reviewed. My biggest complaint about that one was it, nothing really stayed in place. There wasn't really Velcro. I actually had to put tape on the top because it would just keep sliding down. 
So uh, putting the Velcro on there, or the hook and latch, I guess is the correct way to say it, since Velcro is probably not actual Velcro. Uh, you can see there, I don't know, hopefully this is showing up. Uh, it's probably like blurring out with so much light. It's got like these beaded LEDs. So uh, yeah, it looks like a pretty nice photo box. It's very sturdy as well. It also came with, actually, what is this? I don't know what that is. I'll have to open it up in a minute and see. It comes with a little manual. So I can't really tell you what this is. It's like a piece. It has some Velcro strips on it. I'm not sure where that goes. Maybe the you can put it on the top over the, uh, on the inside, of course, and kind of filter the light a bit so it's not as strong. Um, that's the only thing I can figure out what that is. I opened this to see if it had any information. And it's just, just the paper, like, thanking you for buying it there's no real instructions on setting it up but uh you should be able to figure it out it's just a matter of folding the boxes and it just sticks right on the velcro so it's really easy to set up i'm going to take some pictures and we'll go over the the quality of them one thing i'll mention real quick is this flap kind of annoying to use i rarely ever use the flaps on these things but it'd be nice if they had just a piece of velcro or something up here so you could pull it up and just connect it and it would stay you kind of got to hold it while you're taking a picture so it's a minor complaint, but uh, maybe maybe in a newer model they can put some Velcro there or something. So here's the photo of the succulent plant I took, and it looks quite good, I think. Uh, this is unedited in any way, so this is just the raw photo. A lot of times when I'm listing on eBay, I use a little magic uh, wand or whatever it is to... I just click that and it cleans up the picture quite a bit. Of course, I crop it and all that. It makes the, the white background a little bit more white and sometimes it sharpens it up and usually that's good enough uh, if i'm doing a, a photo on amazon and using the amazon seller app to get that clear white background i may do a bit more to it uh, but something like this i think is great because you don't want to spend a lot of time um, editing photos uh, you want to get those listings out so you can make more money i do feel like this is a bit brighter than the amazon photo box that i use uh, just off the bat like this uh, without doing any um, editing but if you are using the Amazon box and you hit that little magic wand button on eBay, usually it brightens it up enough. So uh, this should be a bit better in the end. Here's another view from the top. You can see it gets the, the dirt pretty pretty detailed in there. I do need to water this succulent. You don't, you don't need to water them too often, but this one is getting dry. It's been a few weeks. Uh, and I think it looks pretty good. Here's a Sony CD player I picked up at a Goodwill. You can see the tag's still on there. Uh, but if you notice here there's this light dirt like layer that kind of discolors it and I was wondering if it would pick it pick it up well with the the lighting and it does I, I hopefully you can see it in the video because I can definitely tell I don't know if that's from uh, smoke or just discoloration but when you're selling something like this you want to make sure the customer can see that kind of stuff uh, it looks pretty good in my opinion you can see at this angle it does pretty well picks up the uh, the lighting all around really I guess because it reflects off the sides obviously you know if I was listing this on eBay we'd have that cropped out and everything you can get you can see a little dirt there and this is just based on my uh, OnePlus 3T phone camera which is a little dated at this point uh, probably by a couple years I think I've had the phone for about three years now but it's still can take pretty decent photos uh, if, if you got a better camera obviously the photos are going to look a bit better than this uh, but for me I think just taking the, the photo on the phone and using the little magic wand and eBay to edit it I think does just fine I sell stuff I make money so that's what I'm trying to do so it's very easy to fold up put away has the handle you can carry it around very easy to do all that the Amazon photo box you don't have to take the white uh, background off because it's all built in. You just fold that up with it. Uh, the material on this one, I feel like if you fold that in, it's going to have a crease and you probably don't want a crease. So you would have to e carry your background separate, which is a bit more cumbersome. Uh, but what I find is you just put it in the box, the box that it came in. It has the handle on that so you can just, everything fits in there so easily uh, and it doesn't doesn't put creases in your background so I thought that was kind of neat that the the box has a bit of quality as well so that's actually probably how I would carry it um, and store it uh, it takes an extra few seconds just to put it in that box with the uh, backgrounds just to slide in right over top of it 
So my final thoughts about the product is I think it's a great product. Uh, it is more than half the price of the Amazon photo box, though I think the Amazon photo box did drop a little bit. Uh, so you're still saving like 60 bucks on <laughs> buying this one. It is a little bit smaller than the Amazon photo box and it does have the color backgrounds which Amazon doesn't have. It has a switch that Amazon doesn't have. And I keep comparing it to the Amazon box because that's the one I, I use. That's the one I'm most familiar with. So obviously I'm going to compare it to that. Uh, I can compare it to a little bit to the Sam TN that I've tried. Uh, it's just that the Sam TN one for me was a bit more of a hassle. So I might as well use the Amazon. Um, this one I'll probably be using for a while and it may be my new number one. I'm going to take more photos with it, use it for a month or so and see, um, see if I like it a bit more. But that is my opinion on the newer uh, photo box and there's a link in the description if you're interested in buying it on Amazon uh, I think it's a great price I think it's a great product I want to thank them for sending it over to me to take a look at and I hope this video helped you out in making a decision on whether or not to purchase it on the way out don't forget to hit that like button for me uh, make sure you're subscribed to watch all my reselling videos I sell on Amazon eBay do thrifting yard sales retail arbitrage, all of that fun stuff to make money. I'm a full-time reseller. You can also find me on Twitter and Instagram at flipping underscore junk. And this has been Wick. Until next time.